then explain you did not answer the question. Why did the president send out his press secretary, who's not just the spokesperson for Donald Trump, he could be the sp he is also serves as the spokesperson for all of America at times. He speaks for all of the country at times. Why put him out there the, for the very first time in front of that podium to utter a provable falsehood? It's a small thing, but the first time he confronts the public, it's a falsehood? Chuck, I mean, if we're going to keep referring to our press secretary in those types of terms, I think that we're going to have to rethink our relationship here. I want to have a great open relationship with our press, but look what happened the day before, talking about falsehoods. We allowed the press spray to come, the press to come into the Oval Office and witness President Trump signing executive orders. And uh, of course, you know, the Senate had just confirmed General Mattis and General Kelly to their two posts. And we allow the press in. And what happens almost immediately? A falsehood is told about removing the bust of Martin Luther King Jr. from I, the Oval Office. That, no, that's just flat out false. And the and pool writer. And it was writer, corrected immediately. But why, Chuck, but, why but was it said? No, Chuck, I mean, why was it said in the first place? Because everybody know. is so presumptively climb, negative. Climb into the head of that no, reporter. that it's okay. No, but excuse me. Oh, no, 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 no. That reporter was writing. To the, uh, on behalf of the press pool, that that I falsehood that. got spread three thousand times but it does before not it excuse, was corrected. Excuse and me, it's it still does out not there. excuse. And you did not answer the question. I did you, answer no, your you question. No, you did not. You did yes, not answer did. the question of why the president asked the White House press secretary to come out in front of the podium for the first time and utter a falsehood. Why did he do that? It undermines the credibility of the entire. White House press office no, on day don't one. Be so, don't be so overly dramatic about it, Chuck. What it, it, you're saying it's a falsehood, and they're giving Sean Spicer, our press secretary, gave alternative facts to that. But the point remains Wait a minute. Alternative that facts? There's... Alternative facts, four of the five facts he uttered. The hey, one Chuck, thing he why, got hey, right Chuck. was Zeke Miller. Four of the five facts he uttered were just not true. Look, alternative facts are not facts. They're falsehoods. Chuck, do you think it's a fact or not that millions of people have lost their, their plans, their health insurance, and their doctors under President Obama? Do you think it's a fact that everything we heard from these women yesterday happened on the watch of Barack Obama? He was president for eight years. Donald Trump's been here for about eight hours. Do you think it's a fact that millions of women, 16.1 million women, as I stand here before you today, are in poverty along with their kids? Do you think it's a fact that millions don't have health care? Do you think it's a fact that we spent billions of dollars on education in the last eight years only to have millions of kids still stuck in schools that fail them every single day. These are the facts that I want the press corps to cover. I, and these are the, this is why I'm here at the White House I understand to this. change what I don't awful understand numbers is, like that. That is not what yesterday was about. So you yes, have not answered the question. You did not answer the it's question. It's what this presidency the, is going to be about. You, you sent the press secretary out there to utter a falsehood on the smallest, pettiest thing. I don't think anybody and can I prove that. No Look, I actually don't think that it. maybe this is me as a pollster, Chuck, and you know data well. I don't think you can prove those numbers one way or the other. There's, there's no way to really quantify crowds. We all know that. You can laugh at me all you want, but I'm, I'm very glad. I'm not laughing. I'm just Chuck, befuddled. I'm, well, but you are, and I think it's actually symbolic of the way we're treated by the press. The way that you just laughed at me is actually symbolic of the way, very representative of the way we're treated by the press. I'll just ignore it. I'm bigger than that. I'm a kind and gracious person. Hey, NBC News fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and then click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.